Heading into this week, the federal government had only executed three people in this century, and before that, only one since 1963. And now, in one week, the Trump administration has executed that many people, three people. In 2019, there were 20 confirmed countries that carried out executions. The United States is one of them, an outlier among Western countries and some of our allies. It seems that the most prolific executioner in the world is China, although they keep their information a state secret. But from all available reports, it seems that China is far and away the world's largest executioner. And then a series of countries in the Middle East and then the United States is fairly high up on that list as well. Attorney General Barr announced that the federal government would resume executions. That announcement came in the summer of 2019. One way to look at the Trump administration's resumption of capital punishment is as fitting in with the broader law and order ethos that the president has channeled. Although people who follow the issue know that the people who were executed this week from a racial standpoint are not the people who are disproportionately affected by the criminal justice system. What's interesting is that the three people that were executed all in one week are all white, and the very first person who executed has ties to white supremacy. It remains something that attorneys general uh, under both Republican and Democratic administrations have approved Historically speaking, capital punishment has been allowed under the United States Constitution. And then what happened in 1972 is that the United States Supreme Court effectively shut down the death penalty all across the country. Now, the Supreme Court wound up resuming the death penalty in 1976, but no one was executed at the federal level since capital punishment was reinstated until 2001. 28 states do have capital punishment, but only a handful of states are regularly carrying out executions like Texas. Pretty much all of the executions, or a majority of them anyway, they're happening by lethal injection. One notable difference of how modern executions are carried out as opposed to historically is that they're carried out in secret. Executions used to be something where the public was encouraged to attend. According to the recent Gallup poll, it's 54% that essentially morally approve of capital punishment as a punishment for murder. That number, uh, despite being more than 50%, is significant because it's an all-time low since the Gallup poll started asking the question back in 2001.